All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be going over the fixture settings inside steps. So let's go ahead and get started. You can find the fixture settings if you right click and you see a drop down menu with some options. So let's go through them. The first one we talked about was disabled channel. This simply disables the channel if you don't want to use it. So let's say you have a static red scene. Right click, disable the channel to make a blue scene. Ah, I don't want a blue. Let's disable the channel to a green scene. Remember to always disable the channels that you are not currently using inside your scene. Very important. Okay, next one. Copy channel. This simply copies the channel. So let's put it to 255 and we can copy the level of this channel. Now we're copied. Now there's a few options when it comes to pacing. Let's explore those. Paste on this step only, paste all steps, or set value of channel on all steps. So let's go through. Paste on this step only. Let's create a few steps. Let's drop our red, bring our blue. As I can see, blue is not on step two or three, but it's on one. Let's go ahead and copy the channel, and let's say we wanted to apply blue on step three. Paste on this step only. Now you can see that blue is on step three, as well as one, but not on two. Okay. Set value of channels on all steps. So in this case, let's go ahead and clear out, create three steps, make it blue, and let's go ahead, copy the channel, set value of channel on all steps. And currently, blue is only set to step one. Right click, now you can see blue is assigned to all the steps, and let's assign the dimmer as well. Now you can see blue is now assigned on all steps. Next is paste all steps. So I'll show you on this one. Reset. We're going to go to three steps. We're going to create a blue scene, the first 255 all the way on. Then we're going to do a 143. Then we're going to do a 36. So 255, 143, and 36. Okay, let's go ahead and copy the blue channel. Now, let's say I don't want the blue channel more, but I want to duplicate all these parameters that I imported for the blue channel, say with green. So what I'm gonna do is right click, paste on all steps. Now you can see as the green channel is gonna duplicate what the blue channel is. 143, 143, 36, 36, 143. So now we can disable the blue and now have the green. So in, in many cases, you can go through and create your whole scene, don't like the color, you wanna change it, well, then you can simply copy your channel, paste on all steps for the new color, and you're right back at it. All right, next is set fade state of channel on all steps. So let's go ahead and create three steps, all blue. As you can see, they're set to fade. Let's go ahead, change these to snap mode. Right click, set fade state. Now on the rest of the steps, they should be set to snap mode, as you can see. So it's definitely beneficial if you wanted to change your modes. You can do that on the very first one, copy it, right click, set fade, and you're good to go. Next is select all channels. Basically when you select that, it's gonna select all your channels that you can control. If you want to select a channel, just double click. Next is show levels. Now we're going to do this on the moving heads to give you a better example. So when you have a color wheel, it's going to give you options. To see the levels, you can either show levels and see your options of colors, or you can double click on the black and see your levels there. Double click 
You see open, random strobe, pulse, close, strobe, close. Prisms, linear prism. So in most cases, most lights have different levels in their fixture profiles. When it comes to color, they simply have one color. Dimmer, simply dimmer. But on shutters, usually it's a strobe option or an open option. With moving heads, you have a lot more options. You can select all your different macros, modes, and whatnot. All right, that covers your fixture settings inside steps.